This is the semifinal. We have OK668 and row two. Starting out, we have we're gonna have Reinar versus Betsy. Now both of our players, this seems to be their go-to starting point. Um, if you're not familiar with this format, it is bring two heroes. You must win with both heroes. So this is the seems to be their comfort first pick. Uh, first pick is actually very, very important in this. So here we go. And we get a we get a money where your mouth is from OK668 has the starting on Betsy. She seems to be coming in with a shield. Uh, the, she has the option of running Titan's Fist or Onothos. She's opting for Titan's Fist. Main thing is, obviously, Reiner, known for intimidating, uh, intimidating hard, too, on top of that. So coming in pretty big here on turn one. And they are going to wager, and they are going to uh, over overpower as well. There we go. So that's a that's still a big, still a big block, right? That's um, turn zero coming in for four damage. That's a big deal, right? Overall, however, you do get the setup. You have to go again. Reiner has exactly what they want at this point. This hand isn't tremendously good, but it's also not terrible, right? We do have a Savage Feast with an Agility Token. That is a big deal. We're going to see if we're going to... Okay, Romping Club. Interesting start. So trying to kind of bait out... Bait out the block and just seeing... I'm curious how he's going to do this turn. Um, this is actually very, very interesting. But I do think we'll see the Savage Feast probably to get in. Oh, my goodness. Already blocking with both of those. Going with the Savage Feast, because it blocked with Civic Steps, you get the Quicken Token, which is then going to give your Savage Feast to go again. I don't know if that's going to be that big of a deal, right? Because we already used our club. Uh, but Pack Hunt will be a pretty... That's not a bad arsenal at all. Going for the arsenal. We didn't see... We we didn't really... So we, we didn't really see too much of Intimidates out of that. That wasn't like a crazy hand. But going with the Hope Merchant's Hood to really sculpt your hand... Uh, Rotu's been making some really, really interesting choices in equipment, especially headpieces, when it comes to uh, both heroes that he's running. And that's that's really not something that I, we really see a lot on Brute. So I, I love the fact that he's bringing that in. So we do have Pack Hunt. It's going to intimidate. It is going to get go again. You are going to need to be careful on this. Then do we just, yep, so swing with club coming in for four. Then they're going to arsenal the show no mercy, which is a really, really, really good, really fantastic card uh, in this for, for Rhino. That was a really good add uh, because it's so similar to his, there's very similar things to his other specializations, but they do it slightly different. And so they're both good in, in different circumstances. Coming in with the Macho Grande, just get to dominate. And, ooh, and the overpower, and using the the gold to to wager in there. So there's a lot going on on this one. Rotu putting everything that he has right in front of it. It's actually running really really light on armor. Only running one armor. We have two vigor and might next turn for Betsy. Let's see what Rotu can string together on this one. Oh, coming in with that show no mercy for eleven, intimidating two. You don't want to give him that full, the full hand, right? Because he's going to get the additional, additional damage. So at this point, you just need to put in whatever you can, and just slow that down. Putting in a blue pack cut into Arsenal, but Betsy, Betsy has a Mike token. Betsy had two Vigor tokens. This is a big deal, right? She can hit really, really hard and has resources at her fingertips in order to do this. 
coming in with the Goliath Gauntlet. So trying to turn this into a big, massive turn. Which they're going to do so. So 11 over overpower, getting a gold, wagering a gold. That's phenomenal right there. So coming in, wait to... Okay, so not a lot of times do we see the agility wind up actually coming in, but Rotu coming in with the agility wind up, he is backed against the wall. Though. And there's a full block. Popping that, coming in with a pack hunt for eight. What does Betsy have in her arsenal? Down 1-1 one, one each. Both of these are super scary coming in. This is just this is just a Titan's Fist, though. There's just four, but you're going to have to full block. You're going to have to two-card block. Oh my goodness. He's going to be able to block that out. Come in with a Show No Mercy. 4-6. Betsy just going to block out two. She does have a lot of two block stuff, so this actually might be right there. Right there. I was just going to say, this might be trickier than you think, because Betsy is a little bit more fragile when it comes to Guardian. Coming in with the thump. Oh, but no bonus damage. That's what you use the Goliath Gauntlet for. No, no dominate. Sorry, not bonus damage. No dominate in there. Goliath Gauntlet is a perfect pair with thump. And a lot of times you'll see Guardian players hold that back. Now, I don't think we have enough resources to really do much more than this pack hunt here. But you did intimidate a card away, right? And once again, she has some awkward two blocks. There we go. We see those awkward two blocks in there. Arsenaling. So full grip here. Coming in with the Savage Feast, going to block... Oh, is this another awkward two-block hand? Because you block with all of them. Oh my goodness. I think this is... Is this just Gamer here? Oh, and a D-React. Coming in for seven. That's game. Wow. Ryan are showing that he means business. Just coming in nonstop. Smash, smash, smash. There was almost nothing that could be done there. Betsy has a fantastic ability. And there's a lot of amazing things Betsy can do. But one of the things that she doesn't do well is she doesn't always block well. She's one of the guardians that actually wants to run some cards that have two blocks in them. And so that leaves her open in those awkward moments where Ryder's saying, hey, I'm going to give you, you know, typically you could block this for two, but here's six and I'm going to make you block with three cards for six. What a crazy game. And we're going to move on to round number two. We'll see what our players bring to the table. This has been an exciting match. I'm Nathaniel, and you can find me right here at the Clash Hub.